Okay, get your hand off that mouse. This is not clickbait. Marshmallow concrete is a real thing. Now, is it actually made out of marshmallows? Of course not. That's just the term used to describe how soft the material is. However, it seems that China has improved on a life-saving American invention. And you know what? Why don't I just tell you the story? It was a runway overrun at JFK Airport on February 28, 1984, when SAS Flight 901, a DC-10 following a late touchdown on runway 4 right, was the catalyst for the development of the EMAS runway arrestor system. The extent of the overrun led to both passenger injuries and substantial aircraft damage. So following that crash, on 21 December 1984, the FAA and the U.S. Air Force agreed to determine the feasibility of and develop criteria for the design of soft ground arresting systems. By 1996, JFK was the first airport in the world to have the EMAS system installed, and today there are nearly 80 U.S. airports that have the EMAS system at the end of their runways. Eventually, by the end of the 2000s, the U.S. had exported this system all around the world and was the only arrestor system available in the world. That is, until now. Because China being China, well, they have stolen, uh, I mean, they have developed their own runway arrestor system and have apparently substantially improved the technology. And of course, now China is bragging like they just invented fire. But let's talk about China first, and then we'll compare and contrast the differences between the U.S. and Chinese versions of their arrestor systems. Already in use at 14 airports in China, Chinese scientists have developed a groundbreaking runway safety material designed to slow down aircraft during emergency landings. Nicknamed marshmallow concrete, this ultralight concrete foam, like the United States EMAS system, absorbs an aircraft's energy upon impact by crumbling like a soft cushion. According to Science and Technology Daily, the innovation has already received the second prize for innovation from the China Buildings Material Federation. Wow, only second prize. I wonder what won first prize. Probably Pop-Tart plastic. Anyway, what makes this material special is its extremely low density, only 200 kilograms per cubic meter. That's about one-tenth the weight of standard concrete. And despite its solid appearance, it is designed to crush in a controlled way when struck slowing down even 100-ton aircraft such as a Boeing 747. And just like the U.S. EMAS system, it looks solid but crumbles upon impact, decelerating planes smoothly. Takeoffs and landings are the most critical times during a flight, and aircraft accidents often occur at these stages. And of course, we all sadly witnessed last year with Jeju Air that in fact is a reality. So having a reliable backup safety system is crucial. And since the U.S. first introduced the EMAS system in the past few decades, the ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization, now requires all airports to have runway end safety areas, or RISAs, extending at least 90 meters beyond the end of the runway. Also something greatly debated after the Jeju air crash in South Korea. Previously in China and other underdeveloped nations, many airports used sand, soil, grasslands, or water pools for this purpose. But each of these has limitations. For example, water pools tend to freeze in the winter and attract animals, while the soil surfaces are highly sensitive to environment, humidity, and temperature, with unstable mechanical properties. But the new marshmallow foam concrete offers a more stable and reliable solution. A challenge, however, as the U.S. discovered decades ago, like I said, China is acting like they just invented sliced bread, but nevertheless, the challenge was engineering the material so that it would crush in a predictable way to safely stop aircraft as large as a Boeing 747. The development engineer noted that the strength of the foam must be kept within a tight range specifically between 0.30 and 0.35 megapascals. Too strong and it won't collapse properly. Too weak and it may not slow the plane effectively. Chinese engineers said that the foaming process was one of the biggest hurdles in producing the concrete. The team described it as blowing bubbles into the concrete mix. The bubbles are essentially for creating the soft, crushable texture needed to absorb a plane's momentum. However, to strengthen these bubbles, the researchers added a specially designed air entraining agent made from melated rosin. I have no idea what that means. This creates what is called a protective armor around each bubble, preventing the material from collapsing before it's needed. Well, there, that's what it means. The team also created a two-stage strength control system that helps the foam concrete resist environmental wear and tear. 
This system allows the material to slowly adjust its strength in response to outdoor conditions, which is essential for airports located in harsh climates. But Chinese engineers point out that many international systems use calcium sulfonate cement because it hardens quickly. But this comes at a high cost and can degrade over time. But China aimed for a more affordable and durable option using ordinary cement, which can benefit smaller airports with much more limited budgets. But Chinese developers stressed that the ICAO recommended systems such as EMAS with its calcium sulfonate cement as a raw material, which offers advantages such as rapid hardening and reduces forming difficulties, he said. But its high cost poses challenges for many low cost airports. Additionally, the inherent properties of calcium sulfonate cement can lead to powdering over extended service periods. Okay, so what are the differences between China's marshmallow concrete and the U.S. invented EMAS system? Well, let's start with how EMAS, the U.S. version, works. EMAS systems are constructed using large square or rectangular blocks of lightweight, crushable cellular cement material or foam silica beds made from recycled glass. When an aircraft overruns the runway, its tires sink into the material, causing the aircraft to rapidly decelerate as the material crushes under the weight. China's so-called marshmallow foam system uses an ultra-lightweight foam concrete material with over 80% porosity, weighing approximately one-tenth of the standard concrete. But according to China, the marshmallow concrete creates a softer barrier that absorbs an aircraft's kinetic energy better than EMAS through controlled crushing upon impact. And next is this cost-effectiveness. It's just cheaper. Researchers aim for a cheaper, durable formula using ordinary cement, potentially benefiting smaller airports with limited budgets. And China also claims it's better for durability and environmental adaption. However, the fact is both systems are equally effective. While both systems aim to safely decelerate aircraft during runway overruns, they employ different materials and construction methods to achieve this goal. EMAS uses crushable blocks of foam silica or glass and concrete beds, while China's marshmallow concrete utilizes a porous, ultra-lightweight foam concrete designed to crumble on impact. So far, the new marshmallow concrete system has been installed at 14 airports across China and have shown outstanding results. Now, to be fair, I personally don't have facts that this new marshmallow concrete is superior to the U.S. version, and granted, this news comes from China. However, the physics of the two systems does seem to be that the Chinese system with the ultralight concrete and foam and lower cost and softer arresting system does seem to give advantage to the new Chinese improvement to the runway arrestor over the U.S. version. But, however, I imagine if you're in a plane that's overshooting the runway, you really won't care which system is slowing down your plane and saving your life just as long as it isn't a giant reinforced concrete bunker wall that's stopping you. Yeah, South Korea, I'm talking to you. So what do you think about China's new marshmallow concrete? Let me know before you go down below. And until next time, as always, yeah, this is Maximus. Maximus.